Hi there. Boy, we're changing our world with the video. Oh, yo, what is up, everybody? It's Get Archer here and Seven here. Face cam is up. Wait, let me take our cameras. Okay, well, this video is going to be different from the rest. So, you know, World Coaster video, believe me, is not. Um, we are going to be counting down the top and creepy pastas circulating the internet. If you don't know what creepy pastas are, they're basically internet horror stories that circulate the internet. They get completely constipated because they scare the legit crap out of you. So, we're going to have to cut that. We're going to cut down the top 10 best, strap on your diaper, turn on all the lights. And let's get beat this going. Number 10 is a new recipe. The new recipe is about a young man who is with his wife. Their, the wife says she's about to cook something new. He said they're going to have more. Then he sneaks out of the house to his daily on his wife. The woman he on has a distinct hair tattoo on the back of her, on her back. At night, when they sit for dinner, the man tastes the food and says, perfect. It's completely delicious. He says, "Wow, I guess I really like." Her. Wife stops him and says, "Oh, I meant four. Flips over the steak, and find distinct or tattoo in the steak. Well, this story teaches you two valuable lessons: one, don't cheat on your wife; two, I'll marry a psycho. Number nine is candle Cove. All this will make you afraid to watch every any cartoon ever again. Candle Cove is the story about a young man who. Who go online to a website to talk about a bunch of who about the show called Candle Cove, a pirate puppet show he used to watch as a kid. He said it was his favorite show, but for some reason always gave him creepy nightmares. When he was talking, he realized about why he kept the nightmares. He remembered the, ski the skin taker, a skeleton who had a cake made of children's skin. That's just. Why would you let your kids watch that? Well, that's good. See, whenever he. Ever he ever went to his mother to tell him, hey, can I watch Candle Cove? She said that Satan was completely static. Number eight is the Ronald McDonald House. Oh Jesus Christ, why would Ronald McDonald House is a story about a young teenage boy who went to stay at the Ronald McDonald Charity House, which really was an orphanage. Boy, this was a messed up orphanage. When he got there, all of the employees were apparently dressed in Ronald McDonald outfits. Extremely creepy. Only to find how actually they made long He ended up children into meat grinders and left them hang with mutilated bodies hanging the ceilings like good crosses. And probably never again from the right now. But for seven, the eighth man. The eighth man is a story about a group of kids who went out camping in their trailer. Get to the house and only wake up the next morning to go fishing. When they went, the seven men, ten, the seven teenage boys, all got out and went fishing. Then they stopped to play a game of Catch the Flag, only to realize that the seventh person just woke up. That's when they realized it's alone. The next next day, found on the person standing over one of their bed, his throat cut out. that. The mysterious man immediately burst out the door. The other person completely huddled in the corner. Only two made it out alive. When they did that when just when they got back to mainland, he had snuck for Number six are why babies are born screaming. Oh, this was gonna give you nightmares. Babies are born screaming is about a old, young scientist who goes to lab to only be tested on to experiment. When he tests out all of conscious minds, Conscious of his mind is completely limited, it allows things that's completely unprotected from the outside world to find. All he was inside the darkest of his mind, only found a skinless man on the The skinless man asked, Do you remember me? Because the man said yes and realized this man he saw, he was born. The skinless man only comes to people when they're born. Their mind is completely new and And he utters words so creepy that I can't even just say them on this video. Stop right here. Number five is Slender Man. The world of Slender Man has now taken the world by form. Supposedly a legend about a weird creepy tall man who is in a black tuxedo, a white face, and if you see him, it's 
boring way to oh. okay. So anyway, Slenderman is basically a world famous creepypasta that's going around the world right now and has taken the it by storm. The most famous count is when when it's seen in those children. The is if you see Slenderman, it will teleport to a dupe. It was spread as always. Number four is No End House. No End House is a story about a man who decides to take care of who winning $500,000 spends the night in a haunted house. The man has to go through some terrible stuff. It's watching the murder of his own parents. He has to get the food to finally get to the last room. Opens the door to find the clone of himself for nine on his chest. Realize he must kill the clone for get out of the house. He walks away with the five hundred thousand dollars, only to get home with number ten on his door. All he can do is laugh hysterically and he realizes there's no end. No end out. The priest, Smile Dog. Smile Dog is the story about a that comes around. Apparently it's called Smile Dog. Receives the email, just completely send it, send it immediately to receive horrible, horrible nightmares. Might even suicide and insanity. So the picture put then will look completely more demonic, and it will just make the everything worse for you. So see the email, just send it, send it. It's all gonna be over. All gonna be over. Simple, really. Number two is the Russian sleep. The Russian sleep experiment about a group of five men who were checked into a room which was going to be filled with an experimental gas. The gas was supposed to keep them awake for two days. The doors were shut, keeping them away from ice bridge. And they went cuckoo! They opened the doors on the last day and found a horrible sight. Most of their patients were mutilated, and also to find one that was dead had to even to survive, even though that food was provided for them. And shot the patients, unless for the last one, that's some very creepy stuff that I can't really remember, and I don't really want to say because it's going to give me nightmares again. Yeah. It's creepy. Number one is the famous death story. What else was it going to be? Death story is a story about a 15-year-old boy who moves to a new neighborhood and gets picked on by, his, by some other police. Picks them up, taking their wrists, and leaving them with knife. But one day, He's come back and beat him up, covered him with gasoline, set him on fire. Actually, it was bleach. I'm sorry, I messed it up. I'm stupid, as you all know. Anyway, one na after the day, he got back from the hospital and went completely insane. Just completely white, and his hair was all black. One night, his mother heard crying from the bathroom, walking a completely horrible sight. Death was carving a permanent smile into his mouth. Cut off his own eyelids. And he murdered his entire family and murdered the police. And ran away into the night. How he kills people, he sneaks into their room. When they wake up, they see him. The last thing he says is, Go to sleep. I'm stuck out of them. Alright, that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Um, I really hope I didn't make you constipated. And, um, please leave a like. Subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Without.